How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, man, practice. I'm Liv, and um, I'm gonna try something a little different today. We're gonna watch something together, <laughs> okay? We're just gonna sit down and have a little hang. I'm um, gonna watch an episode of one of my favorite shows. Well, it's old, it's an old show. It's not, not current by any means. But um, I had this idea that like, I don't know, there's a lot of lonely people out there, but there's also a lot of lonely people that don't really enjoy spending time with others, if that makes sense. I am one of those people. So um, I'm going to watch an episode of Gilmore Girls and do a little bit of coloring. And I was hoping that you could sit down with me and watch the episode and we could kind of chit chat. Well, you can't really. You could comment and chit chat while I talk or just color. Um, yeah. This is kind of what I'm calling a trial run, so we'll see how it goes. Um, let's see what episode this is. Ah! See, this is why it's a trial. Okay. Episode. We are in season three. At the end. Episode. 22. Season three, episode 22 of Gilmore Girls. Those are strings, Pinocchio, is what it's called. It's Rory's graduation day from Chilton. And, um, I don't know. This is the one that I was on. I'm not really watching it in order. I just kind of, like, picked a random one and then just kind of kept watching afterwards. So... I don't know. I like to kind of bebop, boop, all over the place. There's seven seasons. There's a lot of episodes. And um, a lot of them are good. Some of them are not so fun to watch. So, yeah. This is a fun one, for the most part. And, yes. Okay, let's see what happens. Are you still here? Do you want to see what I'm coloring? This is something that I was doing with markers. Kind of like a Pocahontas um, mermaid rainbow goddess. I don't know. Something like that. What I'm going to be working on during this episode is this. I'm using colored pencils and I'm using my new Prisma colors. So they're all like just so vivid and I love it. Okay. Anyway, are you still with me? Do you like Gilmore Girls? Are you an ASP stan? <laughs> All right, we are going to start it. We're going to start it. I know I need to restart it because it's kind of like 10 minutes in. Stop that. You just stop that right now. You just stop that right this instant. And I'll do like a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 play. Is that good? Uh, sure. All right. Counting down. You got your Netflix. You got your DVD. I do have the DVD set that I got from a pawn shop. <laughs> um, but I just don't have it here. And I have Netflix right now. So might as well. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. We're starting. What do we got? We're starting. Oh, mine's loading. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You guys like the town crier? Troubadour? I think it's pretty cool. He's from the- he's in the very first episode, which is really cool. He just kind of like pops up every now and then. And, uh, he's saying, uh, there, there she goes in the first episode when Lorelai is walking by. It's like the very first frame, basically. We love the troubadour. So in the beginning of this episode, Rory and Lorelai are carrying giant backpacks because they're going to go backpacking through Europe during the summer before Rory goes to college. So now they're just like complaining in the diner, in Luke's diner, 
about how like they can't backpack with backpacks because those are heavy, right? So. Oh, they're both so pretty, but like just watching, looking back now, Lauren Graham in like season three is just bing, like an angel goddess. Um, yeah, she's just like perfect. Also, she's 35 right now in this, I don't know how old she is IRL right now, but in this show, she's 35. I just turned 34. So that's like, freaks me out quite a bit. Uh, I should probably turn the TV down because you could probably hear it too loud. This is why it's a trial run, friends. May I post this still? Probably, if you know me. I really like Luke's shirt. It's kind of like an olive, like a dark olive with like blue and red plaid. You don't really see that color combination on plaid. You see like the same like five color combos on plaid flannels all the time. So this is a nice one. No, they're trying to carry each other because they can't walk. Here we go. We're going to play through it because, I don't know, timing gets weird, right? And so cold. Probably can't sing all of it. Call my name and I'll be there. You guys know it. Where you leave, I will follow anywhere that you tell me to. They just showed Lane. <clears throat> and I'd like to start a campaign, Justice for Lane. She, like, had every intention of being this, like, badass rocker chick and like touring the world with the coolest bands and instead ASP ASP decided to get her pregnant the first time she had sex and she hated it and she had twins and she's a mom not that there's anything wrong with being a mom but Lane did not want that life we all know that okay Dakin Somebody's name is Dakin, you guys. It's fine. I'm not making fun of it. It's just like unusual. Teal. So Fran, Fran from um, Weston's Bakery, the little old lady died recently from the show. Right? That's what we're talking about. And so Lorelai and Suki are able to buy her old inn that she don't want to ever sell since she's dead now. Um, yes. I think part of it is the blue eyes and the red lips of Lorelai. I'm like, yep. That's what I've always, that's like my vision of what I want as like a pretty lady. Is like, just look at put together with the red lips, the blue eyes. This girl is so funny. We've never seen her before. And she's like, just talking about how the janitor staff made her laugh. <laughs> also, can we talk about how Rory is valedictorian? That doesn't make any sense. When Rory started at Chilton, she struggled so hard. She got D's. Like, she... She failed a test because she couldn't take it because she was late because she got hit by a deer. And um, there's just no way. I don't know. It just seems a little far-fetched to me. I know she's our Rory. She's perfect. She can do no wrong. She is the golden child until she steals a boat. That kid looked like 
Whoa. Okay, the guy that's taking the, the videos, the AV geek, his face looked like like a nerdy version of the middle brother from Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. I think he died, IRL. R.I.P. But he looked like if he had grown up a little bit, but then like got like nerdy. That was the AV geek. Anyway, I don't know. I do this thing where I'm like, that person looks a lot like this person. Even if it's has nothing to do with anything. Or like that person sounds a lot like this person. And we're so proud of Melissa McCarthy and how far she's come. She's, yeah, she's by far the biggest, the biggest star. Like, went into the show not being a very big star, and then when the show ended, she like catapulted. There are some people that like were really big before they started the show, like Sally Struthers is on here. We love Babette. Um, yeah. It's probably just going to be Gilmore Girls fans watching this video, so I feel like I need to stop being so self-conscious about like, is this boring? Because I, I don't think it is. But I'm actually going to start coloring, right? These are my lovely Prisma colors. There's 36, and there's just there's a lot of good colors in here, man. A lot of reds, but I guess there are a lot of reds in life. Are you Team Emily or not? I think she does mean well, but... She's a pain in the patootie. I still have all my red and green together in this one from when I did the Christmas present. Sniffles! Um... I know Lorelai has her flaws. I know she's not a perfect mom by any means. She can be pretty immature and selfish and it happens. But her sense of humor is very great. I like connect with it. <laughs> she wrote a book at least one that I know of but like about her life it's like talking as fast as I can or something um I listened to about half of it before my uh audible membership my, the trial ended so Okay, this part's like weird. This part's a weird part. When he when she goes to Suki's house, she's so excited. We're gonna celebrate. That's a really cute dress. Wait, is it a top and skirt? I think it's a top and skirt. I love that top. It's so cute. It's very like six fifties. All of their, well, Suki's house and Lorelai's house are so cute. Cheers. 
Okay, so the Independence Inn is closing. We should celebrate new challenges. We should celebrate new challenges. One video that I have to film very soon. Film. I still say film. I know it's not film. It's fine. It's fine. Need to record. Is, um, I got my big old tape package from Crummy Cory that I've been like excited for for a while he was waiting on some stuff and then had some exciting family stuff happen and he's been a busy dude and he finally he got my I think you should leave tape done that's really what we were waiting on um and yeah I'm excited I don't remember any of the other things that I got it was from like months ago and I was just like keep it for now just keep it because I have too much stuff but now I have all this stuff here and I need to this is the year of decluttering I keep saying it now I just have to actually go through the motions of doing it um yeah the town meetings are some of the best some of the best scenes in the show Everyone's facing out right now because he's just talking nonsense. Taylor. They're just all... <laughs> Payball! We need croutons. Now, people, I know it's an unpleasant subject, but the deer population in this town is reaching monstrous proportions. Not this again. Monstrous deer proportions. But they're taking over the town. We need to institute partial elimination. Partial elimination? You want to kill the little rotten zombies? <laughs> oh my gosh, also, when I first watched this, I recognized Gypsy from That's all Raven. That show was one of the greatest in my adolescence. I probably won't post this one. I think I need to like write out talking points, which is not really my vibe, but my lips are so dry. Oh my goodness. I love Kurt. I say go with the wolves. It smells like, it's, well, it says it smells like strawberry, but it smells like, I don't know, berry, vague berry, chicken piccata, chicken piccata, Dave Rogelski, Dave Rogelski, Dave Rogelski is a good character, um, but I also was really into the OC for the first couple seasons, so Seth Cohen was kind of like, I was hard eyes for Seth Cohen. So I guess it's okay that he left Gilmore Girls, but that was also sad. I think Zach is hilarious, but I don't really like Zach and Lane together. Jared Padalecki! <laughs> oh, 
So Dean's name in, in real life is Jared Padalecki, and Padalecki is kind of a funny last name. And um, the uh, remake of Friday the 13th from like 2000 has him in it, Jared Padalecki, and it also has Daniel Panabaker. And Panabaker is also a funny last name that starts with a P. And so... Basically, whenever Padalecki or Panabaker show up in anything, me and my friends who watched it with me will be like, Pan Panabaker! Padalecki! I don't know. It's dumb. But like, yeah. Yep. It's not a good movie. Don't watch it even. Don't do it. If you want to watch a good Panna Baker movie, <laughs> if you want to watch a good Pedalecki movie, good. It's entertaining. Uh, watch House of Wax 2004 6. 4? With Elisha Cuthbert and a Miss Paris Hilton and that dude from Cousin Skeeter. <laughs> I can never remember his name. But uh, Padalecki is in it, and it, it's a good Padalecki. It's a good Padalecki picture. If you want a good Panna Baker picture, go with Girls Against Boys. Um, there is some unpleasant. Oh, you should look into it. There's things that happen that some people could be triggered by but um I think they do it in a like they don't show too much to where I was like extremely uncomfortable and like I have to stop watching and then it's like when it's over it's like revenge time which is always fun we love a good revenge time so yeah if you want a Panna Baker picture girls against boys <laughs> Suki looks weird with her hair pulled back like that. She's pretty, but it's just, she never does that. It was like that one time she went on a double date on her first date with Jackson, and Lorelai was there, and so was Rune. That would be a good episode to watch. Scrimping is a weird word. Scrimping kind of reminds me of crimping, though. And, like, did you guys remember hair crimpers? Rory's dress is really cute. It is weird, like, there's their clothing here is kind of dated. When did this show start? early 2000s I don't know but it's also like kind of coming back already it's weird that like stuff from my adolescence is like in fashion again I feel old I haven't colored anything you guys I didn't wake up that long ago so I'm kind of like that's why this is the trial run. I shaved my head again, kind of. Kind of. Oh my gosh. This outfit is just perfection. The red dress and the red sweater and the... That's it. The red dress and the red... And the red lips. Oh, right now they're packing, or they're deciding what all they need to bring to their backpacking trip. Any of you technology people out there? <laughs> um, I want a computer. I want to get a computer. 
I think, mm, I don't know if I want to get a laptop or a desktop. I'm thinking a laptop, but also I'm not sure. And mainly I just want to get one so I can actually edit videos. That is like the main purpose of it. I'm not a huge, like, I don't know. I've worked on IMAX before, like I had to throw all of my photography classes and they're fine. I don't have anything against them, but it's just like, I always think like Apple is way more expensive for like the same amount of technology as non-Apple products. You know, does that make sense? So she is in the same dress that she was in the night before? Or Lorelai was just not dressed yet? Or I don't get it, but it's fine. I was talking to you. It's fine. I'm in my jammies. Well, this shirt isn't really jammies, but like... I did sleep in it. <laughs> Damn it, that's why. It's almost dead. That's better. That's better. That was Blue Dream. Dream, dream, dream. Dream, 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 dream. dream, 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 dream. That reminds me of... <clears throat> Riding in Cars with Boys. It's a good movie. Oh, I loved Brittany Murphy. I loved her so much. It's so sad she had so much talent and she was so beautiful. It's so tragic. Brittany Murphy, maybe I'll write my first song about you. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Everybody looks so pretty! I really, really love Suki's dress too and Lorelai's and their hair is the same what's happening not I'm not loving Jackson's suit I feel like they made him look kind of I don't know Gargoyles. I would have thought Paris would have been. I love that Paris is closer to her nanny's family than she is her own. Um, she should have been the valedictorian though, like, right? Except for the, like, week that she was off because she had sex and got punished and didn't get into her dream school because she had sex. It's another thing, ASP. We never forget that, ASP. Oh my gosh, the red dress, you guys. It's like lace, or like, it's like a lace applique, like over white, this like bright red. 
and and like the scalloping detail around the neckline. Ah, it's just ah, I love it. It's just like a spring dream. It's a spring dream. I just remembered a funny part that's coming up. Should I turn it down? 30 minutes in. I'm gonna have to watch this video of me doing this to see if this is even a good idea. So annoying. Sorry, I've been doing that since I was like four. And I think I have arthritis. <laughs> Everybody looks so nice. People wore jeans to my. High school graduation. I don't even really remember it. I kind of blacked out. It was also like 15 years ago. <laughs> Suki couldn't watch the dating game. She was so depressed. I know what awkward is. <sighs> it's almost done with this episode, I think. Ten minutes left? The really cute kid. Today I am. Today. So I guess maybe I'll film the unboxing of crummy, crummy quarries because I want to get that up today because I think it'll be good to get up today. And then maybe I'll film a, a one thing I wanted to do is a watch along with like something that I used to love, but now I'm like, that? Oh, here's my favorite. This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I still consider children the most rewarding experience of my life. Now, but it always been my Do you remember this kid? To recite a short poem I wrote. From uh, under wraps. But as I read it aloud, I realized the sentiments I wanted to share with my fellow students were better expressed in a favorite song of mine. Cherish is the word I use to describe. Bung, bung, bung. Now, how many times I wish that I had 
told you. It's a distinct <laughs> introduced to you at Valedictorian. <laughs> oh, Brad. I forget, it's like Marshall and... Oh, it's been so long since I've seen that movie. Under Wraps is a really good movie. Check it out if you haven't seen. Under Wraps, it's a like Halloween kids movie from Disney Channel. Is it Disney Channel original? I think it is. Oh, this is, this is so touching. Um, so this, for some reason, well, I guess just, I know the reason, but for some reason I'm deciding to share it. Um, so I was in band all throughout high school and like marching band. I had to, if you were in band, you had to do it all right. So I had to go to every commencement, you know, like graduation ceremony for since from freshman year until I was a senior and actually graduated because we did the music, the commencement pomp and circumstance, you know what I'm talking about? So I'm, that song is, I just, I can't anymore because I've played it so many times, I've heard it so many times, but what I was going to talk about, okay, really quick, I graduated high school in 08, <laughs> and, um, in 07, um, we did, like, in between the pump and the circumstance, we did, like, the 007 theme. Be it just, like, a little, like, uh, like, in between the pump and the circumstance. I don't remember exactly how it fit in, but it was pretty cool. If you're a band geek, it was pretty cool. But what I was... Everyone was just crying, including Luke, which is cute. Um, I love Paris. Okay. Lorelai's boobs look really good. Oh, Richard. Richard. Edward Herman? Is that it? Okay. What was I saying? Eustace. What was I saying? Oh, commencement speeches. So, the, the, aww. Lee is her middle name. Which is weird, I don't know. Thank you, Diana Christine Godley. Okay, so the valedictorian for the 2007 basically stole Elle Wood's entire speech from her valedictorian speech at the end of Legally Blonde. He like, he just like basically like uh, ad-libbed, mad-libbed his own words into what fit. Like you can't be talking about law but like he pretty much did it like word for word and like nobody I was like looking up like oh, you see this guy like the nerve of this guy no one else noticed no one else watched Legally Blonde like a hundred times before that point um but he was also kind of like a cheater like my my friend really should have been valedictorian 
of that year, but, like, he kind of, like, bribed a couple of different teachers into giving him better grades. So he was valedictorian, and it's just like, <laughs> of course you would steal Elwood's speech, you ding-dong. Okay, this part's kind of weird and sad and weird and sad, and I'm a just girl through and through. So... Luke looks weird in a suit. Mm, with a tie. In a blue shirt. It's weird. I don't know. It's weird. She's great, but she's no you, Lorelai. Oh, her makeup is just... I think my actual, like, first episode is going to be Rory's first day at Yale. Because it's, it's a pretty good one. Maybe. Are people going to want to do this? Is this a good idea? I second guess every single thing. Every single thought I have. It's super fun. <laughs> Lori, there's your gift. It's the one with the bow. Um, Grandpa, Richard. For Pete's sake. Well, it was the only one there when I drove it up. You should have put a more distinctive bow on it. Well, how was I supposed to know that every kid in Chilton was getting a car? You got me a car. We got you a car. <gasps> That's amazing, baby. <laughs> Must be nice. Must be nice. If you if you're a Broad City fan and you've watched it as many times as I have, then you would know the last episode of season two, St. Mark's. There's this part where they're walking down the sidewalk and this like grown ass dude who actually happens to be one of the kids from the movie Kids. Yeah, check that out again. Watch that episode again. Season 2, episode 10, St. Mark's. Yes. Um, he, like, gives them a hard time for giving a dollar to a homeless woman. And um, he's like, can I get a buck? And they're like, well, we can't give a dollar to everyone, like, on the block. We don't have that much money. And he's like, oh... Oh, and they're like, because we're going to this place and they only take cash. And he's like, oh, oh, you're going to a restaurant and they only take cash. Must be nice. Must be nice. And I have his voice in my head saying, must be nice. Whenever I like hear or see something that's like privileged to the max and I'm like, oh, must be nice. Must be nice. I have his voice yelling must be nice in my head. Anyway, this part's really like... <laughs> She's not going to pine. She's going to be all right, though. <laughs> She's going to be okay. I also have like random clips from I Think You Should Leave Pop in my head at all times. So thank you, Bob Odenkirk, for that one. Oh, he didn't say anything. And it's like, I get it. He feels like such a fuck up. He's like, I'm not good enough for Rory. I gotta like get my shit together before I can say a word over the telephone. I get it. Good. So we were going home. I just want to make 
I also like their little lalas. La, 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 this part's really weird, you guys. Oh my god, I just got goosebumps. It could be because it's kind of chilly though. Ah, it was a dream! <sighs> and he didn't listen to Dream Lorelei. <laughs> he got engaged and then he got married. On the boat. I'm hungry, so I'm thinking about what I should have to eat. I just had a bowl of um, cinnamon checks a little bit ago, but I need something with some more substance. I love her dress. Great. Sorry. It's not so scary anymore. I have something to show them that too. I kind of like find more comfort and like relate to fictional characters more than real people for the most part. And that's the end. <laughs> so, so many lalas, ballrooms and biscotti. Oh, oh, this is the first episode of, mm, no, I think I want to do, I think I want to do the, uh, Sorry, I keep getting <laughs> keep getting messages popping up. I, I want it. My mind is in a million different places right now. Right now I'm seeing a wand gnome, and it's reminding me of David the Gnome, which is, um, a, Crummy Corey has made some really cool David the Gnome tapes, if you're interested. I'm obviously going to link some of his stuff when I show off his box, but the box that I got of the things that he made and the things that he sold and the stuff and the... I ran out of breath for that sentence, but, um, so there's this red hat gnome, and, um, I watched this movie <laughs> in October that was called The Offering? No. The Offering? No. Dang it. What was it called? It was about these, like, little gnome guys, and this couple, this woman was pregnant, and they had to like leave food every night for the gnomes or else something bad would happen. They were told they had to leave with liver or something. This, I could be remembering parts of this wrong, but I have this little clip and I'll post it. I'll post it somewhere, post it to my YouTube or my, I don't even know if I'm going to post this. I don't know, but I have this little clip of this video. <laughs> It's just this, like no gnome, I guess. I don't know. I don't gnome, but um, he like <laughs> runs up to this woman who is with child, and he like sniffs her, and he's like, oh, "Mama, mama with the baby." 
and it's the first time we see one of these creatures and that's the first time we hear him talk and it's like so ridiculous and you can hear me like saying like what the fuck is happening uh, i love it so much and it makes me it makes me smile every time i watch it so i'll post that somewhere somewhere around maybe on my youtubes even i don't know but um yes <laughs> be kind guys rewind you know the drill